Hello guys, kita kembali lagi dengan dalam game Memento Mori dengan saya Shamrai Tours Kita baru sampai uh, Finland Dekat Monastery Moth Island So, kita akan teruskan Saya let's play Yes? Do you need something Mr. Durant? Have you spoken to the abbot? I just wanted to ask about your monastery, about your community. We are not so special. We simply live a quiet life and by meditation and work try to reach our spiritual goals. And what exactly is your goal? Knowledge, Mr. Durand. Enlightenment. But I'm only a caretaker here. The abbot can certainly give you much better answers to such questions. This is a place of some religious significance. What it is exactly, what it's consecrated to, who knows? Maxine Durand, if I'm not mistaken. Welcome to our world, Max, if I may call you that. Your brother's around. You'll meet him soon. Well, thanks for the friendly welcome. Perhaps I should make it clear why I'm here. We already know that from your brother. You know? Andre told you? Why does that surprise you? Max, we have great respect here for the written word. And if your stay within these walls helps the two of you write your book, you're more than welcome. We like our solitude. But how could we stand in the way of your project to capture on paper the way of life of the ancient and forgotten monasteries of Scandinavia before they vanish into history? Forgotten Scandinavian monasteries? Oh, yes, sure. My brother and me are very grateful to you that we can come and do some research in your monastery. Don't even mention it. Your room is ready. It's in the cloister right across the courtyard. Andre's room is in another part of the monastery. We don't have many guests here. Once you've freshened up after your journey, we'll be happy to see you in the dining room. I'll be happy to come. It would be a good idea to clean up after the journey, and I'm quite looking forward to dinner. The search for the paintings can wait. I'll attract less attention later anyway. Another example of the absurd architecture of this monastery. It's as if they piled new parts onto the ruins of long-forgotten walls. Strange. Have we met before? Certainly not, Mr. Durand, but he can't tell you that because he hasn't got a tongue. Born that way, poor man. Now I just need to warm it up. What should I do with this stove plate?
I must smother the flames. <coughs> well, it won't burn like this. It needs an air draft from below. It's starting to burn nicely now. Nice, guys. I guess the water is warm now. Ah, the kettle is quite hot. I need an oven glove or something. There must be one somewhere. Uh -huh. He's studying something. The writing must be very small and hard to read because he needs the help of a magnifying glass. Something's telling me that studying isn't the only activity in which these monks are involved. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what book that is? It looks rare. Of course, my friend. It's Gragas, published in the 14th century. A gem, isn't it? No doubt about it. Gragas. What is it? Something appeared on the steamed up mirror. It says there is a message hidden for me at the shrine in the woods. I didn't doubt for a moment that you would make it here. Dear me, Andre, are you mad? Forgotten Scandinavian monasteries? Where on earth do you think you are? This isn't a sightseeing tour. These people are thieves and probably wouldn't think twice about murder. And you come here to the middle of nowhere where cell phones don't work and you can't call for help with a stupid story about writing a book? Don't you understand that our lives are in danger? That they could bury us where nobody will ever find us? I'm glad to see you too. Have you finished? Damn it, sometimes you behave like a ten-year-old. There's no point getting upset. You wanted to be here and now you are. On your own you might not have made it this far. If this is your way of saying thank you, you're welcome. Look, I'm sorry. I worry about you. Don't be angry. You did well. What have you found out? Not much, really. I've looked around and talked to a few people. Anyway, we should both do our own thing. If we work separately, they'll have a harder time keeping an eye on both of us. You're probably right, but be careful. Don't play the hero. Understood. Can we get some food now? I'm famished. Hey, orang Perancis cakap English. Hai. This book of yours. How many monasteries have you been to? What was the last one before you came here? Well, I've been to a few, but if you don't mind, I would prefer to talk about yours. Not at all. That's why you're here. Ask away. Okay. How many people live here? 
I haven't seen many. For example, I thought you'd all gather around the table for supper. The brothers didn't want to disturb our conversation. Of course, there's normally more than three people at the table. I think you meant four, brother. It's sad that the man managing all our material possessions can't count to four. Forgive me, you are correct. I'm tired today. There's eleven of us in all. But soon there will be one less. One of the brethren is leaving us. Leaving? Why? It's become clear that we don't share certain values, certain common goals. That is why he's leaving. We do not hold anyone here who doesn't share our beliefs. Everyone is free to go as they wish. I see. Talking about your goals and values, what are they? What do you seek to achieve here? We seek to live a life of harmony. That's all there is to it. But that is no small thing. That sounds very appealing, but it doesn't tell me very much about your faith. Are you part of the Christian Church? What do you believe in? Our faith is a personal thing, and I'm not sure. Tell us more. It's not a secret. We want to know everything. Everything? Really? Hey. Of course. Is there a reason why you wouldn't want to? I suppose you've come a long way, and it would Manic. be impolite to fob you off with a trite explanation. At the risk of some misapprehensions, tell me, Max, what do you think about death? Sometimes it comes too soon, sooner than it should. And that seems to you as to so many others, unjust? His wife died several years ago. I apologize. I'm sorry. I understand. But tell me, do you think there is anything after death? I don't know. At the moment I'm just trying to get by here. I'll let you know about heaven, hell, or anywhere else when I get there. Can we change the subject? Forgive me. I can see I've upset you. That wasn't my intention. But you asked what we believe in, and I'm trying to explain. We believe that how you meet your death is of the utmost importance. Have you ever heard of Ars Moriendi? The Art of Dying? Yes, it's a book dating from the Middle Ages. It is our Bible, if you will forgive the expression. It contains the teachings that we believe and which we practice. Because of them, we will be rewarded at the moment of our death. Rewarded? By what? It's getting late. Perhaps we could continue our discussion tomorrow at lunchtime. Of course. I look forward to it. Well, we didn't find out much about the paintings. Forget the paintings for a moment. I don't like the way things are going here. Why did you push him to give you details of their faith? That sent a chill down my spine. Why? There's nothing unusual about people believing in the afterlife? Didn't you notice the way he changed after you said surely it was no secret? He started to talk about what they believe in. About that book of theirs. Well, I don't remember provoking him. His whole manner changed. He started talking freely as if he had come to some decision. As if he realized he could tell us everything. Why would a criminal suddenly make up his mind to do that? Do you think they want to hurt us somehow? I think we'll be lucky to get out of here alive. Barricade the door before you sleep. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow. I have to arrange one more thing. You're taking things way too seriously. But I'll be careful. Good night. <laughs> All around you can see the influence of various architectural styles, periods and cultures. A really peculiar place. As hard as I look, I still can't see a place on the shrine where the message could be hidden.
Hmm. There are a lot of small, fragile ornaments which could be interesting, but they're too small. I need something to have a closer look at it. I see. The world has changed. You can't expect us to behave the same way as hundreds of years ago. You're answering your own question. Look around. You think we're ready for the new age? Don't Excuse me, do you think I could borrow your magnifying glass? Go ahead. Here it is. Thanks. Like to meet you. Tell me that. Are they obedient and patient? Always loyal to our mission? Perhaps you... Mm-hmm, bike there, oh yeah. But how did you back there? As hard as I look, I still can't see a place on the shrine where the message could be hidden. The hand of the spy in a cloak. I can't feel anything here. Actually, the stone is a bit loose. Eureka! Let's have a close look at you. What have you got there? I wonder what it all means. Misty mirrors. Secret messages beneath a stone mosaic. It says here to look in the crypt in the garden and find a secret passage there. And the stolen paintings, I believe. I should reply by morning if I want to cooperate and leave a message hidden in the shrine. H. It looks like I found an ally in this forlorn place. I think it might be good to have a look inside the crypt tonight. Moreover, I should give him an answer by morning. Okay guys, sampai sini saja second main Memento Mori. Uh, saya harap korang like, subscribe dan share. Shamraters out.